예, 제살 재미. What's up, everybody? Welcome to Chemical Guys Detail Garage. Thanks so much for joining us for part two of our Buick Roadmaster detailing. Today, I have a special guest to help me out. We're going to be tackling the interior of my car because we got the outside. You can come on in. We got the outside of it taken care of the other day, but today we need to jump on the inside because, as I mentioned before, the car is a daily driver. And with all the projects and everything else that I have going on, I don't have enough time to actually get my own car clean. So I got my buddy here to help me out. He's going to help us clean it and protect it so it looks its best. Again, this car is nearly 20, almost 30 years old. So it's not going to be 100%, but I mean, for its age, we're going to make it look its best. Right, Joseph? That's right, Nick. That's really Looking close. forward to helping you out. Yeah. Anything you have to say? 2019, first video. 2019, first video. I'm excited. I mean, you could actually just see it through... Uh they're my sweatshirt, right? I am excited and ready to go. Let's get it going. That's Roadmaster, right? right? Roadmaster. Let's so master it up. The Roadmaster has a lot of plastic and velour. So those are two services that we commonly have to deal with. Fabric is a common material that we deal with. So we're going to clean it by starting off with the vacuum to get the heavier, loose stuff, and then wipe down the dashboard and door cards using some interclean. And then also for some stains, probably use some nonsense. Now, like I mentioned, this is a new year, new resolutions. So you want your car to look its best. In the last video, we stripped off the old wax and polished a couple areas and then applied some new wax, some new coatings. And this is just, again, because every year your wax is going to start degrading, your sealants will degrade. So it's always good to start fresh and then you kind of keep a timetable of how often you need to reapply different kinds of coatings. And same thing with the interior. So you have a interior regimen, same thing with your exterior regimen to make your car look its best because this is going to, one, obviously make it look better but also this is going to help its value by not deteriorating. Um, you're gonna keep some of the softer material nice and new again, but also this is something that you spend a lot of time inside of. You know, you spend a majority of time inside of the car, so you want it to look and smell its best. So again, I don't think I can say best enough. We're gonna hop on this thing, get started, and uh, anything you wanna add to that? No, just looking forward to cleaning up your insides. Really? Yeah. What's wrong? What's wrong, sir? I really, I really am, dude. So now moving on to the interior, we're gonna be using some interclean, which is gonna gently remove any dust and fingerprints while protecting the surface without adding any kind of sheen. This is a great way to clean your dashboard or door panels, especially since you don't want any kind of glare, but this is gonna protect from UV rays and harsh elements. And what's also great about interclean is it has a very nice smell to it, pineapple type scent. And uh, what you'll see right here, if I was to touch... Yeah, just go ahead and grind that into well, the dashboard. Yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> Wrong color gloves. But anyways, there is definitely some dust up on here, right? Yeah. Which is going to happen, especially if you're driving around with the windows down, that type of thing. So uh, what I will do is I'm going to go ahead and spray right here actually onto the surface of the towel instead of doing the surface of the dash. That way you don't get all that overspray up on the windshield, which would be a very bad situation. Right, Nick? Yeah, it'd be a situation, all right. Yes, sir. Just, how are you doing over there, Nick? Good? Yeah, it's good. Got a little extra here for you. Get way back in there. Oh, geez, just break that watch. <laughs> Sorry about that. that was, uh... <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> Want to make sure we get in that deep clean. So that's what I did that for, actually, just to get right in there, right? Just very nice and neat, like. This is just, look at that. Beautiful. Beautifully done. Light right? layer of great. dust. Yeah, I think that, uh, let's. Yeah, just go ahead and break it some more, yeah. No, I'm just saying. Take the clip out, why don't you? Oh, my shoulder injury is kicking up here again. <laughs> what all right, happening? perfect. You got a dead arm or something? Yeah, no, it's, a <laughs> it's all good. Look at that. Just very nice and easy. So I love using this on uh, pretty much all the interior uh, type of plastics, right? Vinyl, that different type of thing. So works out very well. You clean your little uh, laminated wood up here. That's right, laminated wood. This is a very, very nice. fancy car. You didn't even get that in your Mustang. Right? I don't have laminated wood, no. Right, you got huh. suede junk and all that stuff. It's beautiful. Just the design is almost hypnotizing, right? I guess. Let me get over there on your side too, Nick, just where it's... I think you got plenty of dash on that side. That's right. This dash is a mile game. wide. You need to take my side? Oh, man. It's so comfortable in this car. The seats are very nice. And it's old school? How many yeah. How many Buick Roadmasters have you seen? Honestly, this is the first one that I've seen. Wow. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. So that's... Aren't you from Texas? No, I'm from Northern California. Oh, but that's... I don't know where you got that from, Nick. But it's well, okay. the Roadmaster was built in Texas by Texans. So really? Yeah. That's very... That's interesting. All right, let's go ahead and get in here. And take that to the bank. Looks really cleaned up nicely, too. This dash looks great. Does the radio still work? Yeah. Not right now, because it's obviously I know the not. power's off. Yeah. Of course it's not going to work. You want to see something? This is my uh, lucky keychain. Let me see it. Oh, that's pretty cool, man. Yeah, that's I my, like that. my lucky keychain right there. Very pretty. Looks beautiful. And we have the little, little guy up here, which I saw earlier, right? He protects the car. Little Deadpool. All right. 
So what's next? What are we looking at? Just going to hit up the doors and everything too? All the plastics, uh, any kind of vinyl surfaces. Very cool. Then we need to move on to the carpet, I believe. Yeah. Yeah. That's not where the horn is. That's the horn. Pretty good. Pretty loud. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let me go ahead and give it a nice little touch right over here. I like the mauve color too. The mauve is very nice. Sure. Right? Yeah. Burgundy, would you say? I would say burgundy. Mm -hmm. oh. See this and now I can get a little closer to you? Yeah. Or vice versa. That makes it really comfortable when you're driving. You know, it you is, just yeah. Like out. just to sit like this and <clears throat> say, come on. Yeah. Or if you want to get crazy, you slide across this side and try and drive from this seat. No, it is very, very comfortable just to sit. Perfect positioning of the steering wheel too, right? right? You're putting just your manhood on my steering wheel there a little bit. Just like now. this. Yeah. I like that, man. Feels really good. Really good. All right, so let's do it. Get all of the cracks, get in between. I love this product called Inner Clean. Smells so good and makes it gleam. Shine it all up so it looks like a dream called in a clean. Clean up your insides in a clean. Make it just <laughs> no, just just mess me up, dude. Sorry, Nick. All right, sorry about that. Nick, you still there? Yeah, I'm great. Okay. This is cleaning up really nice. Yeah, it does that. Oh, look at that. Look at all that. Huh? Look at this. It looks like we have some some sort of human hair, if we can get a close-up on that. In case if there's any missing people. <laughs> 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 That's oh, Nick. Oh, man. Dude, what the world is this, bro? What the hell is that? There's all this human hair. <laughs> You, my friend, I love it. That's why you're not uh, you're a, sick man. a forensics expert. Yeah, I know. Sorry about this that. This is obviously human hair. The car is red. The interior is red. <laughs> and it was hu red human hair. You're right. Yeah. I know. My, my fault. I'm sorry about that. Oh, man. Jeez. This cleans up quite nice. All right. Sorry about your fuse box earlier. It's okay. We have to clean your car again sometime. So. No, I know. I seriously thought it was a vent. It would make like a little defrost, right? A little defrost, defrost the side of the door? I don't know. Maybe, right? You never get cold on that side? Your glass never fogs up, right? Maybe a little late night. You just left uh, the bar off of Crenshaw. <laughs> Feeling like doing a little something strange, Nick. Huh? You just had a pastrami sandwich half off. What do you think? Do you like pastrami, by the way? Yeah, it's good. Me too. Bet you do. I hate rye bread, though. Just something about rye, those little black uh, Hate's a strong seeds. word. I, yeah, I really do. I, I can't have rye bread anymore. What's your favorite type of bread? Uh, Let me guess, English muffin. Yeah, that's a great type of bread. It is a type of bread, actually, Nick. This is cleaning up nicely. Here's what we got. We got this. This is all just coming off of interclean. Not too harsh, nothing too strong, right? Just a really good little quick detail spray for the inside. Works out amazingly well. Uh, what we notice is, yes, a very nice smell, right? You get a nice scent, mm. pineapple scent, That's and nice. it looks very clean. The plastics all over here, this before was a little bit of, a, of an ashier look, and now, right now, look at this. That wasn't loose before, you right? break No, no, it's fine, totally fine. It just was showing, uh, but yeah, it just looks really good. There was a empty uh, gum thing that was in there, <laughs> just as a heads up. I'm sorry, I just. That brings up a good point though. Uh, whenever you're detailing someone else's vehicle, it's always best to bag and categorize all the owner's personal effects. Sure. This being my own car, I don't really necessarily care. Um, a lot of it's trash. Like you said, the gum wrapper, also yeah. that's a, a package of headlights. This is an older car, so 
things break, so you need to be prepared. Always be prepared. Yeah, that's true. You never know. You might be driving and it's a country road, right? Can't see anything. Light goes out. There's the answer, right? That actually happened last night. I had a turn signal light burn out, so I was on the side of the road in the rain fixing that. That was fun. Yeah, go ahead and break those. That's only $24. $24 you're snapping in half there, chief. Love this kid. Love him. All right. People think we don't like each other, though. That's as far from the truth as possible. Man, Nick, you know, I haven't seen this style of, uh, I, I miss those, honestly. The little joystick right here. You know how those work? Yeah, on, uh, that's what I was just looking at. Look at that. Yeah, you know, do you know how it works, though? Yes. There's a little cable that goes in through here, and it comes up behind, connects to the joystick. And what it does is if you move up, down, it moves down, right? Up, down. Yeah, never yeah. ceased to amaze me. I like it. Looks really good, man. Really I think cool. we've done a great job as far as with the interclean, right? Yeah, you can't get too Anything much better else? Yeah, so Now we need to start taking the formats out, we'll vacuum it. Sure. Um, let's start with the seats so we don't <coughs> transfer dirt and then we can sure. do the rest, right? Definitely, sounds great. Let's do it. All right, guys, so now for the next step, I'm gonna go ahead and take this vacuum here and start to work on these seats. Uh, since they are the original velour material, I wanna make sure to be careful of any sharp edges and just take it nice and gentle. So like just a nice gentle caress with the vacuum and make sure that I'm getting all of this uh, debris and little remnants that's left behind. And I believe, Nick, what are you gonna start working on next? So over here I have a floor mat with some nasty grease stains in there because I'm a car guy who hangs out with car guys. Car guys get greasy, so. That's right. One of my friends jumped in there and I uh, got some greasy footprint in there so we're gonna remove it using some nonsense you can extract it but this is a very thin layer uh, it's also made of a kind of a mohair material so we don't want to overly saturate it and ruin the foam that's inside of there so i'm gonna use a little bit of nonsense and gently scrub away the stain and then we can revive that really deep rich red look cool, cool so if you don't mind i'm gonna go ahead and turn on the vacuum start to get on my side and if you want it yeah fine yeah. we'll be good all right there we go So whenever you're working on a vehicle that you might not be familiar with, as am I right now with Nick's vehicle, you'll notice, don't be afraid to explore around, right? Just kind of search around a little bit, touch and feel different things. So this handle you end up seeing, to the naked eye at first glance, you think, okay, that's just a part of the panel. Uh, the handle will actually lift open, so I wanna make sure that I get in there with my uh, inner clean and just give it a nice little uh, wipe down. Also in high traffic areas, such as like with your armrest and this trim that goes around there, I just wanted to go ahead and make sure that I give it a really good wipe, especially for those 
those people uh, like myself that like driving with the windows down, this is gonna get a lot of that dust filled debris that a lot of people miss and don't take the time to actually clean. We did that and as you can see, nice little layer of dirt came off. So now this area is gonna be protected, has a nice little coating of that inner clean, and best of all, it's gonna smell amazing. All right, so Nick took extra special care of you today, all right, so you owe me lunch. Look at that right there. It's a little squeakiness, huh? So we've got one final step to wrap up the interior on my Buick. Before we do that, Joseph's gonna go over exactly what we've done so far today. What we did, Nick, is we started off with that inner clean, right? Uh, everything looks great, dash looks nice and fresh, steering wheel, uh, door trim, all that good stuff. And then we went on to the vacuuming process and to where I had the, the lovely uh, responsibility of touching up all this velour that you end up having here, right? Uh, Nick ended up touching up on all the carpets and the floor mats, right? Right. Yeah, and now final step, right? Here we are. Before What's we did that, step? we actually uh, protected the velour and fabric stuff using a little bit of fabric guard. That's, That's going right. to help repel some water drops, some stains, just like that greasy footprint. So it's going to help it, you know, look as best for as long as it can, right? I would like to say that that uh, greasy footprint came out just, I mean, it's stunning. I mean, oh, yeah. you can't even see it was there. Nonsense if we knocked did it not, out. If I did not see the first part of this uh, episode, I would not even think that there was ever a stain. See, that's why you got to stay for the whole episode. That's right. We yeah. stuck around. All yeah. right. Okay. So what's, uh, what's next? Right. Final step here. We're going to add a little bit of my favorite air freshener, and that is the freshly glazed donut scent. It has a really nice, you know, welcoming smell. And yeah. I just like donuts. So again, all you have to do with any of our air fresheners and odor eliminators is simply spray it. You can do it into the carpet, a little bit into the headliner, a little on Joseph's shoes. He just, loves that. Yeah, just careful there, Nick. All right. Yeah. Good. But it traps itself into the fibers of the fabric, so it's going to help it last as long as possible. It uh, helps to eliminate any kind of lingering odors, such as mildew, uh, spilled things. Yeah. And it really just freshens up the whole interior of your car, giving you that lovely fresh glazed donut scent. Definitely. What I like to use whenever I'm doing uh, our fragrances is making sure that the air is on recirculating air so it'll pull through, go through the filter system, and uh, the fragrance lasts quite a long time. Yeah. Right? This doesn't have a cabin filter, so it does make a huge difference. So. Sorry. Nick, I was saying what I like to do, all right? What do you like to do with fresh glazed donuts? I That's just, what I want to know. Oh, I love them. What, what's your favorite type of donut, Nick? Oh man, don't even get me started. Uh, Mine's old fashioned. Old fashioned is my favorite. Dry, <laughs> it's a dry donut. Apple fritter is my favorite Apple donut. Apple fritter is amazing. Maple that's bar. Always more, you you got to pay more money those for, the, for those ones. So I'll, I'll splurge. You know, I'll Gosh. get the cavities and the oh, diabetes, no. but I like that oh, stuff. Oh, got a little bit of diabetes. <laughs> <laughs> Get us out of here. Let's, All right. we'll, let's wrap it up. Here. So yeah, definitely. If you guys like this one, which I, I hey, I, I love this video. Anytime that Nick and I get together, it's a great time. Uh, so if you guys like this, definitely give us a thumbs up. Drop a comment below if you have any questions about this episode or any others, right? That's about it. And? And uh, thank you guys so much for tuning in to the Detail Garage. We'll right? see you guys next time. See you guys soon. Nailed it. I got the fries that will cross your eye. Mm. So we have one final step to wrap up the interior detail on my Buick, but uh, Joseph's gonna recap what we've done today so far, and then we'll roo, and then we'll roo, 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 roo. So we've got one final step up to... Step it up, step it up. Representing for the gangsters all across the world. Still.